Hi everyone. Today we're shedding a light on the ongoing genocide in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This crisis has been happening for decades, stemming from the colonization of the DRC by the Belgians and the Rwandan genocide. The colonization of the DRC led to the unloving of between 5 and 10 million Congolese people. This one as spreadheaded by King Lopo, who colonized the country due to the high quality of rubber that the country was able to produce. Farming, disease, and use of metals such as removal of iron were just a few of the atrocities that were committed against the Congolese people. Following the decline of Leopold Rwan, the Congolese people in 1960 elected Patrice Lumumba, giving the country much hope. This was quickly taken away uh, when Patrice Lumumba was unloved and the puppet government was then instituted leading to what is currently happening in the region. The Rwandan genocide also exasperated the ongoing neo-colonialism faced by the Congolese people. Millions of Rwandan people fled to the DRC, further destabilizing a country that has been reeling. The colonization led to mass destabilization, and countries like the United States, Israel, and China continue to practice neo-colonialism in the region. Congolese people are forced to mine essential minerals like cobalt and cotton by and suffering severe health issues such as fatal respiratory condition and the ecological impacts as a result. There are hundreds of militant groups in the DRC that are participating in the continued destabilization of the region. Every day, 40 women and children are raped by members of those militant groups. There's a mineral that people are losing their lives over in the most violent and horrific way are used in so many of everyday items like the phone that you are watching this video on right now, your computers, watches, TVs, and basically everything that is rechargeable. There are mutual aid groups working carelessly on the ground such as Focus Congo, Peace Africa Hope All, and Congo Charity. You can find all those organizations and more in the OOB spreadsheet. You can donate to help out or you can help spread the word about those amazing groups so that they can get the attention and support that they deserve. Stay tuned to learn more about those ongoing genocides and more ways that you can help. Thank you very much.